So like, in January, you told us that it may be too ambitious to target a Wales cap this year. So yeah. that obviously now you've made your international debut. Are you kind of surprised by your own rate of progression as a player? Yeah, I'm a little bit, to be honest. Um, you've always sort of got to have confidence in yourself as a player and the belief that you will go on to do good things, but definitely wouldn't have expected for my career so far to go the way it has in terms of sort of breaking in at, in the first team here, Brentford, sort of getting an under-21 Wales call-up, then sort of getting a call-up for the senior team. It's been it's been a whirlwind sort of couple of months and I think it's just a sort of like reward for all the hard work that's gone into it. But it's definitely sort of taken me by surprise and when you look back at it all, it's just been a roller coaster and yeah, an enjoyable one. At what point did you find out that you were in the squad to fight for China? Well, I made the provisional squad, so there was a squad of, I think, maybe sort of 35 players that got named, and I was on that list, which was obviously a start, um, but then they, it was going to get trimmed down um, slightly later, so I knew that it was getting announced on, I think it might have been the Thursday, and I came in from training, and a few of the boys in the canteen were sort of like clapping me off, and like smiling, and I remember Johan was like, congrats, and obviously didn't didn't know but then quickly sort of came to my head that I would have got called up and I sort of went on my phone and I saw sort of all the notifications on Twitter and social media so at that point I knew and it was a surreal moment and it was one that I was looking forward to. Am I right thinking that Ryan Giggs has actually come down here to meet you in person? Yeah he's he um, got in contact with my agent and the under 21s manager Robert Page and he made it clear that he was in he was in London and wanted to sort of catch up with me. So me, my agent went down to Novotel at Brentford and he yeah, sat me down and sort of said what his aims were as a manager and what sort of manager he'd be and his philosophy and style of play and stuff. And he made it clear that I was going to be part of his plans going forward, which was obviously really good to hear from someone as big as Ryan, Ryan Giggs. So what were your first impressions of him? Yeah, obviously, everyone knows about Ryan Giggs as a player and I haven't really seen much of him as a person, but he came across really well, very sort of calm, reserved, um, very much gets his ideas across and makes it very clear what he wants and he made it pretty clear that he wanted to sort of promote youth and bring younger players up to sort of compete with the older players, so it was obviously good for me to hear, obviously being 20 years old, having a manager that wouldn't mind sort of putting young players up and sort of throwing them in their deep end. So that was the first time I sort of properly spoke to him. And obviously over the last couple of weeks, I've obviously spoke to him a lot more and yeah. And Gareth Bale became Wales' all-time leading scorer with that hat-trick over China. What was it like for you to be in the same, same squad as him? Yes, yeah, unbelievable. I mean, I was saying to a lot of staff and a lot of boys earlier that you can learn so much from just him alone, never mind the rest of the players in the team. Um, the way he sort of looks after his body and the way he prepares himself for games and training sessions, he very much does everything in his, in his power to make him the best footballer he can be. And it's no surprise that he's one of the best footballers in the world at the minute. And yeah, he's a really good sort of like inspiration for a lot of the younger Wales players. Am I right thinking you were his roommate during that first night, Sean? Yeah, I didn't remember too much of it, but yeah, it was obviously really good and... Yeah, it's, he must be sick of the sight of me after the amount of times I've asked him for signatures and I had a lot of family and friends sort of asking asking to get signed shirts and um, sort of signatures. So, but yeah, he's an unbelievable person and really down to earth, humble and yeah, he's gone on to do big things. Now you've had that first taste of international football, how keen are you to return to the fold and, and get back involved again? Yeah, I mean... Um, sort of having a taste of it in the first game against China sort of goes on to make you want it even more and I only played sort of 20 minutes but it was my first taste and it was a good opportunity for me to come on obviously the scoreline was good and we was winning 6-0 so sort of like took the pressure off me a little bit but definitely having a taste of it you just want more and more of it and I look forward to hopefully getting called up in the future. We heard on the grapevine that Dean Smith has been making you practice the Welsh National Anthem in the county. I don't know about that. Um, no, I'm pretty good with it now. Um, I can't say I was when I first got called up, but I've sort of played a couple of games since with obviously the under-20s and the 21s, so 
it's quite familiar. It just sort of gets worse and worse towards the end of the anthem. Um, but yeah, I normally started really well and then die out a little bit.